Welcome back to Arsenal awesome News TV and today we're going to do the instant match reaction of Olympiacos vs Arsenal. The game ended with Olympiacos with 1 and Arsenal with 3 goals and in my opinion it sums up Arsenal altogether. There are some negativities, there's some positivities, there's some sloppiness and there's some great goals. And we're going to go into the main talking points of this game and I'm going to give my instant match rea reaction regarding these actions. And for me, this game was a really difficult one for an Arsenal fan because I thought it was the game was going to be done when it was 1-1. But the Gunners fought back and started to show signs of confidence and maturity against Olympiacos. So the first talking point we're going to talk about is Martin Odegaard's brilliant screamer. And to be honest, many people were doubting why didn't um, Martin Odegaard start in the middle? Why is not the likes of Alexandra Lacazette not playing? Why is Emil Smith-Rowe Smith not getting a start? Why is William not playing in the middle? And Martin Odegaard showing what he's capable of. In my opinion, I think the goalkeeper could have done much better with the shots, but the power and technique from Martin Odegaard we saw he was trying to do that against Burnley he was just taking shots at one certain point but this one he did, took a nice long range shots and it was a brilliant goal by Martin Odegaard and someone that may be staying for much longer with the Gunners in my opinion I think it was a brilliant goal and a brilliant start for Martin Odegaard with his goal scoring career at Arsenal so the next talking point we're going to talk about is typical Arsenal and they lead to El Arabi's goal. And it's a typical mistake by Bert Leno in my opinion. I felt sorry for Danny Ceballos because everyone was questioning Mikel Arteta straight off at that point. It was a brilliant substitution sarcastically by taking off Thomas Partey and bringing on Danny Ceballos. And it came to Danny Ceballos against one more. But I think it was Bert Leno's mistake in my opinion. I think Danny Ceballos couldn't do much with the ball. But it's Bert Leno's fault in my opinion. I think sometimes I don't know why he's always passing it. Why can't he do that uh, clear the ball out for one instance. He's always trying to pass it. He's trying to find a pass. But sometimes he has to get at one point. Now hopefully from now he can. Bert Leno is someone that can recover his mistakes in my opinion. And hopefully he can learn not to make these silly mistakes ever again. And next talking point is. Someone that saved the game for me, in my opinion. Someone that's probably the man of the match at certain moments. And someone that was questioned for being sorted as well. Um, we're going to go on to that with Mikel Arteta's decision. But Gabriel Magalhaes was brought in instead of Pablo Mori. And what a header that was. He went really high. We already know Gabriel Magalhaes is very tall. And the header he did, he was literally head and shoulders above the other player, M Villa. And he done a brilliant goal, in my opinion. What a header, what a athleticism, what passion and what what a time to score the goal because it really boosted the Gunners in my opinion and it was a really brilliant goal by Gabriel Magalhaes he's someone that is showing why he should be starting in this Arsenal team the passion and determination is what I want to see with these Arsenal players and Gabriel Magalhaes for me is a warrior a fighter and someone that saved us the game in my opinion and then after to top it all off Mohamed El Nenny what a long range shot in my opinion what a brilliant goal another screamer someone like Martin Odegaard but this one was unsavable in my opinion. We all know Mohamed El Nene. When it comes to goals, this guy always takes long range shots. The one he done in certain other games, he just all he does is take long range shots. And that curl he puts onto the ball when it just comes from the outside of the foot into the bottom right hand corner is something Mohamed El Nene specializes in my opinion. He was brought on and many people will question why he was brought on instead of the likes of Thomas Partey who still was playing alright in my opinion but when Mohamed El Nene came on, he knew what this game meant for the Gunners and he took that with his full confidence, with full determination and passion and he got that goal for the Gunners and it was a very good one to top it all off with just could have been a horrendous game for the Gunners. And finally, we're going to talk about Mikel Arteta and he gets his tactics spot on, in my opinion. Many people questioned his decisions. Why did he bring on Gabriel Magalhaes and he scored? And many people questioned the fact that why is... The likes of Smith Rowe not playing and Martin Erdegaard got a goal as well. He's two substitutions that many people didn't want to see in the team, but he made the bold decision. He made the um, tactics that he thought would work and he got his tactics spot on. And sometimes as Arsenal fans, we have to agree with Mikel Arteta at certain moments and he just did one over the fans in my opinion. And hopefully Mikel Arteta will be able to continue this because it's another crucial game in my opinion. It's a North London derby and that game is always a final in my opinion. 
Hopefully the Gunners will be able to carry on this form. It was a good win in my opinion. Hopefully we can go further into the competition. But other than that guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.